Hello class, so in this video, ang pag-aaralan natin are equations of order 1. So to be specific, sa video na to, we'll be discussing variable separable differential equations. But we will also have a bit of introduction about equations of order 1. So the order of a differential equation, it is the highest ordered derivative appearing in the equation. Identifying the order of a differential equation is important as there are methods of solving differential equations exclusive to certain orders. So, halimbawa, you have a differential equation na order niya ay 1. Depende sa form ng differential equation natin, doon natin malalaman ano yung solution or ano yung method na gagamitin natin rather to find the solution. So, if iba na yung order ng isang differential equation, hindi na ma-apply itong i-discuss natin dito. So that is why, importante na ma-identify natin yung order ng isang equation or differential equation. So, um, in this module, we will be discussing identification of different types of order 1 differential equations kasi sobrang dami nito. Ang gagawin natin class, we will test a certain differential equation, kung papasok siya to a certain criteria, and then depend dun sa criteria na yun, madedetermine natin ano ba yung pinakamadaling paraan para isolve yung differential equation na yun. So, ganun class yung ginagawa natin with DE. Now, pag sinabi nating solutions to differential equations, kasi lagi nating sinasabi yan, solve for differential equation, find the solution of a differential equation, it is basically the process of evaluating the differentials in it. Kasi diba, pagka meron tayong equation na may mga differentials, di natin yan, di natin yan magagamit para makuha natin yung mga missing parameters natin sa mga physical phenomena natin. Like, let's say, for example, di ba, mayroon tayong binigay ng mga examples last time. Meron tayong D, uh, dy over dx or dy over dt, dx over dt. Because nung minodel natin yung isang phenomena, meron tayong mga parameters na mga rates sila or nag-change sila um, from one variable to another or nag-change sila rather Depende sa changes din ng isa pang variable. So, yun yung idea natin when it comes to differential equations. Ngayon, ang tanong, oh, sir, na, na natin, napakita na natin na ito ay, itong certain phenomena na to ay pwede mong i-model using differential equations. Ano nang gagawin mo ngayon doon sa differential equation mo? So, ang gusto nating mangyari class, matanggal natin yung mga differentials tsaka yung mga derivatives. Kasi pag natanggal natin yung mga derivatives, ano ba yung nangyayari? Namawala yung mga derivatives, ang matitira na lang ay yung mga variables na lang mismo. And para na siyang normal na algebraic equation na pwede mo nang gamitin to find missing parameters. So, kung gusto mong matanggal yung mga differentials na yun, ano ba yung ginagawa natin na process? Diba ang ginagawa natin class is, nag integrate tayo. So thus, integration is a crucial part in most methods of solving differential equations as it eliminates the differentials. Kasi gusto nating matanggal yung dx, dy, dt, etc. dun sa isang differential equation. So, ang gagawin natin nito ay mag-integrate lang tayo na mag-integrate. Yun yung gagawin natin kasi gusto nga nating matanggal itong mga differentials na to. Ayan. So, um, all in all, we will be discussing 6 in total na different types or different ways then to solve differential equations. So, medyo madami. Um, this is actually the longest chapter na pag-aaralan natin, pag natin ngayong semester. So, we will start at the first um, differential equation natin. Also, um, the easiest then I solve, we have the variable separable differential equations. So, a variable separable differential equation, so it is a first order equation that is algebraically reducible to a standard differential form in which each of the non-zero terms contains exactly one variable. So, kaya variable separable ang tawag kasi na pag separate separate daw natin yung mga variables niya. So, to understand this, yung mga, uh, let us look at this equation. So, Tandaan natin class, yung mga differential equations natin, ang general na form niya is usually ganito. 
a general a, a differential equation usually comes in this form we have a function of m daw a function m of x and y naka multiply sa isang differential plus a function n of x and y then naka multiply sa differential lang sa pang variable that is equal to 0 so this is how differential equations are usually represented so a function of the variables times a di uh, times a differential plus a function of the variables again pero this time around naka multiply sila dun sa other differential natin <clears throat> so if let's say for example um, we have this differential equation x squared dx plus y times x minus 1 dy is equal to 0. So identify natin, alin ba dyan yung m of xy tsaka yung n of xy? Asan dyan yung function of x and y and asan dyan yung function of x of y na nakamultiply naman sa dy? So kung titingnan natin yan class, ang nakamultiply sa dx natin is x squared. So therefore class, this is your mx of y. Now, sir, eh, wala namang y dyan. Eh, di ba? Pwede naman natin sabihin class na yan ay nakamultiply halimbawa sa y raised to 0 because y raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, therefore, this is your m of x, y. So, ano lang to, no? basic na review lang sa uh, ano natin, knowledge about functions. So, I assume familiar na rin tayo dyan. Now, ano naman yung nakamultiply sa dy? Ito naman siya. So, therefore, this is your n of x, y. That is y um, multiplied to x minus 1. So, itong differential equation na to class, it is ex actually expressed in this form. So, in-identify lang natin, alin yung m, 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 tapos alin yung n. Now, if you have a differential equation daw in that form, and you can transpose, you can manipulate, reorganize the differential equation in such manner na ang kakalabasan class is ganito, wherein, hindi na siya ang nakamultiply sa dx is no longer a function of x and y. It's just a function of x. And yung nakamultiply sa dy is also not a function of x and y, but just a function of y alone. Then, the equation daw is, variable separable. Kasi napag-separate natin yung variables niya at na-multiply lang siya doon sa sarili niyang differential. So dito wala nang x dyan, ay wala nang y dito, nakamultiply siya sa dx. Yung lahat na nakamultiply sa dy, wala namang x. So yun yung target natin. Now bakit ba class ganun yung gusto nating mangyari? Kasi nga, mag integrate tayo. E di ba kapag nag-integrate tayo, kailangan is yung variable is nakamultiply doon sa kanyang differential para ma-integrate natin siya. So, to determine kung variable separable, yun lang gagawin natin. We need to algebraically um, manipulate the equation para mapalabas natin yung ganitong form. Kapag napalabas mo yung ganyang form, then the equation is said to be variable separable. So, to find the solution for variable separable differential equations, sobrang dali lang. You just integrate the whole equation. So, ang, ang gusto nating mangyari, matanggal yung mga differentials, integrate natin para mawala yung dx na yan sa kayong dy na yan. So, the solution class for a variable separable differential equation in the form na a of x dx plus b of y dy is equal to 0 I, the integral of a of x dx plus the integral of b of y dy is equal to c. Kasi diba, we know that the integral of 0 is a constant. So kaya meron tayong c dito. This is our arbitrary constant. Yan yung tinatanggal natin dun sa previous na uh, topic natin. So ito, para mas madali, tingin tayo ng example. So we have this differential equation y prime is equal to 3xy. So, alam naman natin class that y prime, it means dy over dx. So, we can express this equation as dy over dx is equal to 3xy. O ano yung kailangan natin gawin class? So, kailangan lahat ng y nakamultiply sa dy, lahat ng x nakamultiply sa 
dx. At kailangan, hindi rin nakamultiply yung y sa dx, or kail basta kailangan, kung ano lang yung variable na yun, yun lang yung nakamultiply sa derivative niya, or sa differential niya. So, pwede natin gawin class, divide natin yung equation by y, tapos multiply natin yung equation by dx. And we will arrive at dy over, uh, dy over y is equal to 3x dx. Now, looking at this equation, this is already in the form ng a of x, a of x dx plus b of y dy is equal to 0. Hindi lang natin natranspose pa yung 3x dx. Pero it's uh, similar. It's on the same form na. Next ang gagawin na natin class is to integrate this one. So if we integrate this, we will have the integral of dy over y is equal to, pwede natin ilabas yung constant as um, rule of thumb sa integration. Hindi na natin kailangan integrate sa loob yan. So we have 3 times the integral of x dx plus the arbit arbitrary constant which is c. So um, the derivative of uh, the integral of dy over y, this is ln y. And then, the integral of x, that is power rule tayo dyan, so x squared over 2. So, yung lalabas na term dito is 3 over 2 x squared plus c. Now, that is our general solution. But we can actually further simplify that. Yeah, next na problem naman, we have dy over dx is equal to 6x raised to 5 minus 2x plus 1 over cosine y plus e raised to y. So, this is our differential equation. So, ang una natin kailangan gawing class is to separate the variables. So, this can be done by simply multiplying the whole equation by dx and cosine y plus e raised to y. And we will arrive class at cosine y plus e raised to y multiplied to dy is equal to um, 6x raised to the fa uh, raised to the fifth power minus 2x plus 1 times dx. So, pwede na tayong mag-integrate. So, if we will integrate this, so, we will have, di ba, pwede itong i-distribute. So, yung dy natin, i-multiply natin dito, then we can take the integral separately. Kumbaga. Ayan. So, this is uh, basic na integration lang. So, we have the integral of cosine y, that is sine y, plus the integral of e raised to y is still e raised to y, tapos the integral of uh, 6x raised to 5 dx, that is power rule, so magiging 6 raised to 6 over 6, tapos times 6, so cancel na yung 6 natin, matitira is x raised to 6, tapos we have dito is integral of 2x dx, so, that is x squared plus integral of 1 is x plus c. So, this is our answer naman. Okay, another example. We have secant y dx minus 1 plus x squared dy is equal to 0. So, if we will look at the equation, hindi pa rin siya nakaayos na um, variable separable. So, Kung ayusin natin siya ng variable separable, what we can do class is divide the whole equation by 1 plus x squared, tapos divide din natin by secant y. So, we will have dx over 1 plus x squared minus dy over secant y is equal to 0. But, we also know class that secant y, ang inverse niya is cosine y. So, pwede na lang natin palitan yung cosine y. Kasi mas familiar tayo sa integral ng cosine, di ba? Kasi sa secant. So, pwede na tayo mag-integrate. So, we'll be integrating dx over 1 plus x squared minus cosine y dy is equal to 0. So, dahil equal siya sa 0, in-integrate mo yan, arbitrary constant na yan, c. So, ang integral class ng dx over 1 plus x squared this is arc tangent ng x. Tapos, ang integral naman ng cosine y is, yun nga, sine y pa din. So, we will have arc tangent x minus sine y is equal to c. So, this is our answer. So, as you, can, as you have seen, kailangan ay familiar tayo sa different na um, integration rules natin kumbaga. 
Tulad nito, sa una, hindi hindi siya ganoon kadali ma-identify, di ba? Or baka hindi natin natatandaan yung integral ng mga arc um trigonometric functions. So kailangan ma-familiar tayo doon. So that is it for um variables and parables. So basically class, uh, hindi na tayo nagbigay ng masyadong maraming examples. Bakit? Kasi ang kailangan niyo talaga dito is the principles of integration. Napakasimple lang naman yung ginawa natin to identify <coughs> the solution, di ba? Ang, ang differential equation lang dito is yung pag-aayos lang natin na kaila, uh, pag-aayos lang natin ng mga, ng mga terms natin para maging variable sa parable siya. Yun lang. But the rest, that's calculus 2, I think. That's integ integral calculus. So, kung nahirapan tayo dito, um, ayun, most likely, what we need is a review in integral calculus. So, kung nahirapan kayo, dapat mag-try kayo na mag-solve ulit ng mga problems in integral calculus. So, that's it for this video.